What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to share with you 10 quick tips to know about traveling in China. So first things first, let's talk about the uh, toilet situation there. So typically when you're out in public in China and you have to go to the bathroom, most bathrooms aren't going to have a typical Western toilet bowl. It's more going to be a hole in the ground squat toilet. Um, so if you're wondering what that looks like, here's a photo. And normally it's BYOT, so bring your own toilet paper to these places too. So a lot of people carry around tissues or napkins that they can use to go to the bathroom, which is definitely a change from Western culture. Tip number two for you is that China has one of the best rail structures in the world and it's easiest to travel around using rail, railway, high speed bullet trains, everything like that. But the railways are also exactly on time. So if your train is supposed to leave at 847, it leaves at 847 with or without you. There's no stopping and it's perfectly on time. No waiting, no delays. Number three is that despite public perception, China is actually very safe and in my opinion, one of the safest countries I've ever traveled to. Uh, I can walk around at 2am in an alleyway and feel perfectly safe and not threatened at all. And uh, even my girlfriend who can travel alone, solo female traveler, feels perfectly safe any time of day walking around anywhere. I've never felt unsafe at any time in China. So number four on my list I'm going to be very brief about, and that is that there's really no social media, Western social media in China. So if you come, you probably won't be able to use Facebook, Google, Twitter, Instagram. All that stuff is blocked in China. They have their own versions of the social media. But that's just for something that you should know if you're coming from abroad. Number five on my list is a really interesting one, and I like to call it the foreigner stare. And that is when, when people come to China, they generally visit bigger cities like Shanghai or Beijing. And if you go to a more rural, small town China, a lot of people may have never seen a foreigner before. So if you're walking around traveling in their city or their town, they're very fascinated with you and they might stare at you or look at you for a long period of time. Now don't take offense to this, there's no harm in it. They're just very fascinated that you're visiting their area and their town. So number six on my list is that most places in China really prefer for you to pay with your phone. They have the apps Alipay and WeChat which make it really convenient to just scan a barcode and pay for everything you got just using your phone. A lot of times I won't even carry my wallet around with me because some places don't even accept cash anymore. So if you have the option, it's more convenient to pay with your phone in China. And while we're on the topic of money, number seven on my list is the difference between local food costs and Western food costs. If you're on a budget and you want to save a lot of money in China, eat locally and you get places Go to places for noodles and rice that are really cheap and you can get good hearty meals for about a dollar. But if you want to eat Western food like pizza, burgers, pasta, and everything like that, you can pay up to $10, $15 a meal. So if you want to save money, eat local in China. So number eight on my list is actually a very important tip and that is that China is way too big to see all in one trip unless you have like a month long a vacation because there's so many things, different things from historic Beijing to modern Shanghai to mountains and deserts and there's just so many things to do and see in China that you really need to do it in a long, long trip or you have to come back multiple times to see everything. So just know it takes a long time to travel around the entire country of China. And number nine on my list goes out to everyone who's scared about going to China because they don't know Mandarin, and that is that English is widely prevalent throughout the country. Especially if you're in a bigger city, places like the subway and restaurants will always have English translations, and oftentimes I can find people in the country who know English very well. So if you're worried about going there, you shouldn't be because English is widely used throughout. And last but not least, number 10 on my list is something you should avoid doing at all costs, and that is traveling to China during Spring Festival holiday or during the first week of October, which is Golden Week. So this is really important because everyone in the country has off during these holidays. So any of the tourist locations that you really want to see will be absolutely mobbed with people. I mean, just look at this picture from the Great Wall. It's just insane traveling during these weeks. So if you can, avoid it at all costs and travel during another time of year. And that does it. That's 10 quick tips to know before traveling to China. I've lived there the past two years and I really love traveling around the country. So I really want you to come and I hope you enjoy it too. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. See you guys next time.